So you're cutting it fine, Elaine. Oh no. <laughs> Can, can you blame him? Is it his fault? No, not at no. all. It's mine. <laughs> Hi, Tess. Hello there. Hello. Oh, there's a few latecomers. Jill's panicking. She's unpacking as fast as she can. <laughs> Hello, Linda. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> and Vicky's got a bit of panic on as well. <laughs> All right, we're over the page now. So 28 of us. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Frank. Hi, Tony. You looking forward to this one? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm late. I'm always late for everything. So oh, don't worry. Are you all right, Catherine? She's muted, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's make a start. So I'm going to mute all. Which camera? So we'll draw the bird first of all. Now, I want to get this right, so I might have uh, one or two false starts. So, um, the head to be there. I want the feet to be there. The tail feathers right down there. Let's see how that works out. So, um, just a general outline, first of all. Slim, we'll just broaden it across the shoulders. It looks a bit fluffed up, as so though it's just about to nod off. It's keeping warm. Just extending the wing feathers. Never been sure what this this feather is here. Well, see, here are the. Um, well, I suppose that's. Oh, I see it now. I've never even noticed this. These are the tail, the, the wing feathers. Quite disguised because they're in front of the tail feathers. Now, the, the, this bird's got a magnificent forked tail. So you can see the two halves of the tail here.
the fur, some fluffy feathers on the chest, I assume. There's a talon. And this is what it's sitting on. So here's the tail feathers there and there. Not sure about drawing every feather. It'll take quite a while. So I'll, I'll just set the tone of the feathers with a few individual ones. Now when it comes to painting, I can spend more time. I'm just going to lengthen the beak a little. Don't want it to look like a vulture. Slightly fuller beak. So the, the feathers on the head and the neck quite erect. Now, the eye position is important. You can't see the full eyeball. It's got a fairly prominent brow. It's I think that's okay. No, I'm not happy. I need to move it. to get this right. Now the beak is too full.
Well, I'm still not happy, but time's are pressing. Right, so I'll do the rest with my brush. Okay. Right. Raw sienna. I'm, I'm not painting the, the background first. I don't know if I said I would. Yeah, I, I remember now. Yeah. Sorry about this. I was going to paint the background just in board of the outline of the bird. So, bluey grey, as usual, Okay, with a, just a few gaps here and there. The clouds. that out a little.
Right, so I may complete background later with some some trees we'll see how we go on so we're all seeing now Get my own instructions again. It's going to be grey blue. I'm just going to isolate the eye because I need that to be white for full impact. And I've painted orange later. Likewise, the beak. So this colour will extend down to the throat. But not round the back of the uh, of the head. I should have let this dry. No, I may mean, have a weird halo around the bird now. A fundamental error. Okay, so that looks a bit, a bit awkward, but it'll be okay. Right. I hadn't realised it was so wet. Okay, I'm going to start adding detail round the left hand edge of the bird. This is the back of the bird, but it's to our left. It's still a little bit damp, but I think that will be fine. So I'm going to start with uh, burnt umber. Now a lot of these feather details, the edges of each feather, 
can be done by lifting out later. So if it looks plain and dark, it won't do when we're finished. Just varying the colour slightly with more raw sienna. So I'm not shaping the feathers as yet. but I can paint in the edges of the feathers as they come down the back. Now's the time to put that profile in. Just drafting in another brush here. This is raw sienna, but darker than the original. Again, this will be much darker later on. Um, Tony, I can't tell from the screen because I guess there's a bit of reflection, but oh, okay, are yes. you actually paint, painting? You're not picking out any detail at this point. You're just going well, up, putting a wash over the. That's right. This is just a general wash. We're going to come back over it with detail, Priscilla. Okay. Just change the lighting. I don't know if that's any better. Yes, that, that is better actually. Okay, that's good. Now this dark wing feather, that tail feather rather, I'm going to do in one go, I don't want to come back over this, so this is sepia.
and I think it's just comprising three large feathers. I copied this from a photograph, but it's so long ago, I can't remember anything about it. So that's the tail feathers. Now they'll dry paler, so I may have to add a little bit because I want those to be quite dark. So the the wing, the folded wing feathers. No, these are the wing. <laughs> Get my feathers mixed up. These are the wing feathers I've just painted. The tail feathers are underneath, and they want to be a ready colour. A very ready brown. Probably burnt sienna would be good for that. It's still wet. Don't mind a little bit of bleeding from one colour to the other. As long as it's not shooting off into the sky like it was before. Right, so these tail feathers I'm just doing in one wash. And it's just a warm Burnt sienna or similar. Feathers under the under the chest here are quite pale. I'm using nipples yellow for those.
Right now, the I'm going to work my way down from the head feathers. Now these done the undercoat. These are much darker. So just painting, leaving slivers of the undercoat in view. Just come across the top of the eye, not too much. We won't be done with this application and we'll come back over it with more dark grey later. Just wetting the surface there. A little bit of wet in wet. So these feathers on the neck turn to uh, more of a ready colour. This is burnt sienna. Using a small brush here because I want these fine feathers to be done in one go. I want to come back over these. I'll be overdoing it a bit. So this brown colour is, is fizzing into the grey nicely. Painting a slight semblance of individual feathers. So these feathers are changing shape from the fine feathers of the head down to broader feathers on the back and side.
So the feathers down the, the back, because we're looking edge on, they look long and thin. They're not actually, but from our point of view, they look it. So these are different shape to the ones around the front, which we'll do shortly. We painted them all the same shape. The, the bird would look rather flat. So these feathers are much fuller. So look at face on to them. Also getting larger. Now on my original, these, these feathers are quite white, so it's a gouache maybe later.
bit a little little bluey gray in my brush here Any bit of gouache there that will almost disappear when it dries. So you never know with wet and wet exactly how it'll turn out. You can see. Right, we'll put some yellow on the beak. My yellow's highly contaminated. It's green, so I have to be careful here. Orange. While that beak is still wet, define it with some really dark bluey grey. Just controlling it with the brush. the actual point of the beak sharp Shadow under the beak, under the throat. It's quite dark. It's a dark shadow behind the eye. And a few dark feathers going backwards. This looks very dark, but it will dry pale.
little bit tricky. Whose idea was this? So I'm just painting over these feathers with the wet fine brush and it just merges things together gently. And as always, just a hint is all you need. the mind to understand so with my damp brush I'm gently removing pigment really I need to let this dry before I can do much more Come down the, the front with a profile. Seems to have worked before. So this area is still quite damp, so this is fusing in nicely. It's a sepia I'm using. The old stray feather sticking out is helpful. Now here this is a transparent feather sticking out, so a little puddle of water. Just let the pigment flood into it. Walk away. Now 
Well, these are feathers that I'll paint around with the dark. Dark brush. Let's make them stand out. Talon is bright yellow. That's not the talon, let's see. Just the toe. The talon is black. I'm trying away to myself here. Always be careful when you're dabbing like this. Don't carry on dabbing into the sky. So get some ugly marks then. So just here and there, pick out a feather that you can define with a shadow line around it. This is with sepia, probably got a grey, no, I did, it's very dark. To keep in mind general tone, it's it's not a crow, so it's in danger of getting darker and darker if I'm not careful. Taking some water out there to never dry. And Sweating this. So 
I'm making all this slightly damp. And let some rich brown colour smooth in nicely. Give it a feathery, soft, downy look. Then smooth in some burnt umber. Let that trickle down. Don't know if you've got your boards at an angle. It's always helpful for things like this. Useful little shadow on the top of the, the toe there. Now this is going to be the post that the bird is sitting on. So I'm painting around these feathers So that's helped to uh, define one of two things.
So that's the post the bird is sitting on. Barbed wire. Why not? Old fashioned barbed wire. Right, I'm jumping the gun here and finish the bird. When that's dry, I'll be able to erase these pencil marks, which are making it look a bit fussy at the moment. So I'm lifting out now, there's plain water, about half a dozen careful strokes and just dab it with the uh, tissue.
adding a few feathers. I'll notice the head on this bird is more erect than the original. Just as I suddenly woken up. Tony, yes. Uh, when you lift out, it doesn't work with me. Um, what brush are you using? Because oh. I need a really fine brush. Well, no, it's 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 more likely to be the paper. Um, okay. I, have to, I have to say that some some papers don't release the um, the pigment. It goes in, and it, those are the um the uh, rag based well i'm using yeah it's a very rough paper it should it should work it should work to um, an adequate degree uh, victoria okay this is a different sort of paper i'm just um don't know if you can see that It still worked. It's not not as pronounced as that, but it's still adequate. Yes. Sometimes it can be too much. You end up putting the paint back on again. Yeah. Well, I'll just keep at it. Keep at it. At it, girl. Try a different. Try a different brush. Yeah. Sorry, I've. I've I've missed what you're doing. What what are you lifting off? Um, just generally, Priscilla, just to create uh, a, 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 a roughed up feather or a feather detail that isn't there, and I think would improve the shape of the bird. So, just um, for instance, a lot of these feathers have. Um, I've like a, a pale halo around them, so I can create that. This is just clean water, fine brush. I don't know if you can see that. Hope that stayed in focus. So there's another one here. Actually, I'm getting the hang of it. Good. Yes, that doesn't work for me, but it, it's not removing the paint. Well, do you need a quite a firm brush to do that? No, no, no. No, there's nothing abrasive about it. it it's just dissolving the, the, the pigment and transferring it to the uh, towel. I think my mistake to start with was I was using two. I was using my finest brush. Yeah. I'm now using a slightly thicker one. I think you could overdo this quite easily, so. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Good. So you can't do this to every feather, but just enough to get the message across.
That's too much, so I'm putting the paint back again now. Excuse me. Oh, fucker. <laughs> Can you put everyone on mute, please, Tony? <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yeah. You heard me smile there. Oh, no. <laughs> I do sympathise. So the feathers down the front, because they're all edge on, it's just a single line for them. So this this technique has the added benefit that it it provides its own fuzzy edge, it doesn't, doesn't leave a sharp edge. So if, if this is not working for you, one thing you could try is a little bit of soap on your brush.
It's creating some overlapping feathers on the tail. I uh, can't see the bottom of the of the painting at the moment. Oh, I've zoomed right in and I forgot. I'm just adding shadows under certain certain feathers. So some of these lift outs I've done are a bit anemic, so it's good to put a bit of 
colour back in to raw sienna or uh, I think this is cadmium orange. I'm just thinking of a background. Call me crazy. What colour are you using now, Tony? Sorry. Oh, this this is just a, a quite a thin, uh, greeny grey. Greeny grey. Thank you. <laughs> that doesn't sound very scientific, I know. You see how this turns out before you do it. <laughs> Isn't anybody cursing me?
Okay, Lindsay, let's look a bit closer. Oh, lovely. That's really good. I think the head's good. The feathers are a bit of a train crash, really. Yeah. Sorry, Tony, I've got to go. See you. I'll see you on Monday. All right, Barry. Cheers, Barry. Bye bye. Catch you on Monday. Lindsay, bring it closer and keep it still. Oh, that's really good. That's smashing. You've got a head super there. I like the head. I, I think I might just draw a wing and then look at your recording and try and just do feathers separately on a wing. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, because definitely mine are a bit of a train crash. But right. uh, I, yeah, I thought it was a really good one to do. Yes, it's super. You've done so well. Excellent. Let's look, Natalie. Now that that's that um, needs a, a bit more, a bit more shadow under the under the bill, I think, yep. and around that region. Okay, I'm, I was str struggling to create feathers. I just really don't know how to get that sort yeah. of feathery appearance. I, yes, I appreciate that. Yeah. But that, that to me looks like all it needs um, is under the beak, quite dark. It's nice though. It's Thank nice. you. I don't don't spoil it. Um, right, Bev. Come on, Bev. Move it forward. You're the ornithologist here. <laughs> <laughs> big, big closer, Bev. And down a bit. Bring it in. In. I don't know if you've got a focusing camera. No, I don't think I have. I don't know. Oh yes, you have. It's just clicked into focus. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it was hard. I found it really hard. Oh no, you've done really well. And, um, yeah, you've defined the feathers beautifully. Yeah, really nice. Oh. And they, oh, I, do, I, I don't think I, thought, I don't think you can really tell from that, Tony. It's like oh no, you're just being coy. You know it's good. Being coy. I love, the, I love the rough on the back. It's really head. hard. <laughs> okay, Charlotte. Let's see. A bit closer, Charlotte. A bit closer and a slightly lower down. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yes, it's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's lovely. You those got... feathers are lovely. That's I nice. found the feathers hard, though. Yeah, 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 I did. It takes time, you know. Yeah, we haven't really got time to do this no. perfectly, but we've all done really well. Okay, Priscilla. Oh yeah, that's great. That looks lovely. Right. Oh, it does. It's so far. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that looks a. Uh, a wicked piece, Priscilla. You mess with that, would you? Right. <laughs> Have your leg off. <laughs> uh, that was interesting to learn about the feather delineation. It needs a lot of practice. Yes, it does. Yeah, and it's not easy. I know. No. Uh, we've all done so well, Elizabeth. Let's see. The lovely colours there. Oh Look, yeah. That's super. It is. Your colours are super. The sky and everything. You've made a meal of that, and it's it's really paid off. Difficult uh, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not easy. Well, it's your own fault for choosing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look, Tony. Right now, um, it looks very, very dark around the head, and you. Yeah, it's over dark there. Yeah. But it, it, you know, it's. It's not a not a disaster by any any means. You could remove some pigments with a with a wet brush if you wish, just around the top of the head. See how that goes. But um, it's good. It's generally very good. Thank you. Um, let's okay, okay, Victoria. Bring it closer. Yeah, oh, that's nice. You've got lovely bright chestnut colours there. It's a nice looking bird, Victoria. And uh, Anna, 
Yep. Yep. That looks good as well. They're all, yeah, it does. Yeah. They're all really good. Oh, the eye is lovely. Um, now, um, Janice, your, your bird's caught my eye. That looks, looks really good. Bring it close, Janice. Okay, and down a bit. Down, down a bit. Oh, fine. Nicely done, Janice. Feathers, though, are difficult, aren't they? They are difficult, yeah. yes. Max, I'm sorry, I've uh, I've left you behind. Let's have a look. No problem. Can you see? Yes, bring it. Can you bring it closer? Yeah, that looks good, uh, Max. Yeah, feathers are hard. <laughs> they are hard, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know that. Let's look. Let's see. It's okay. Oh, that's it's nice. nice. It Can you see nice. it? Yes, interesting use of color you've got, and um, it seems to have paid off. Mm. Very good. Thank you. Um, who else now? Tess. Hello. Hello. I there. think mine's been in a rain shower. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it, it's certainly a bird of prey. <laughs> it looks all right. I like it. I like the feathers. I like uh, the feathers. I think you've, you've washed the feathers down, haven't you, with a wet brush. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's paired off nicely. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> Annie, hello. Big hello, hi. Hi there. Bring it Can in. You see Let's hope it focuses. A bit closer. Any good? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see, but it looks okay. Okay. Can't tell yeah. you. Anymore. It's rather blurred. Um, okay, not to worry. Oh, Annie. Uh, sorry, um, Elaine. Oh, that looks splendid. Bring it closer. Oh, crikey, that's really good. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's smashing. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Thank it, you. It looks like it's been in a fight, but it's <laughs> it's just it's just having a breather, ready to go back in again. Lovely colours. Super colours. Yeah. yeah. It looks so, it looks round and bird like, three dimensional. Yeah. It's smashing. Mm. There it is. Thank you. Best in show, Elaine. <laughs> um, Sally, Sally, sorry. Uh, bring it. Yeah, let's see. Bring it closer, Sally. It's, it's, it's rather blurred, Sally. But it looks okay. I can't see it too well. Yeah. But it looks fine. Looks good. Uh, now, anyone else? Um, well, thank you. Have you? Have you oh, was a lot of noise there. Too much. Yes, it's my mate Annie who hasn't turned off her microphone and is clearing up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't tell tales, Nat. You're right, okay. It sounded like a gun battle. Uh, sorry, I was I was tidy, you know. I'll, I'll switch myself off. Okay, thank you. Uh, right, uh, Frank, how's it done? Yeah, I had trouble with the feathers as well, really. Yes. Yeah, they look a bit regimented, Frank. But, yeah, they do. Yeah, but but uh, it's, a, it's a good effort. It's, it's a good effort. Some better. Um, Vicky, that looks good. Oh, thank you. Let's bring it closer, Vicky. It looks really nice. Oh, that's nice. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thank so, you. That's... Enjoyed it. Well done. Thank you. How did you do, Jill? Let's. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Right, it's gone off, off to the left. Oh, what's happened? Where have you gone? It's lost stuff. Where have you gone, Vicky? No, it wasn't Vicky, was it? Jill. Okay, Jill. Jill. It was Jill. Jill. Mm, nice one. 
Uh, let's hope she comes back. Linda, let's see. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Yes, yeah, nice. Nice colours. You've yeah. mm-hmm. got a, a lot. It's quite pale, but that, that's fine. Why not? Super. Uh, I wonder where Jill went. Oh, she's there. You're back. You've moved right into the corner. Look, let's show us again, Jill. My camera moves. My camera moves. Oh, I see. That's really good. Ooh, right. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Closer, Jill. Closer. And even closer. Okay. <laughs> That's super. You've got a f- oh. lo- lovely head profile there. Oh, I wish mine. I can't, I, I can't do the lifting off. Yeah. No, so I, I sort of left it bits white because it's. I found it too hard to do the lifting off. Okay. Mm. Nice. Okay. Um. Are we done? Anybody else? With with. Uh, uh, oh, Liz, I'm sorry. Oh dear. Poor old Liz. <laughs> Um, right, bring it closer, Liz. That's it. And, and down now. Okay. Yeah, fine. Good. Yes, good. Good effort. Right. Uh, have we seen yours, Anona? Yes. I can't remember. Okay. Thank right. you. Are we Are we done with this now? Let's think about next week, shall we? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll stop recording. I actually remembered myself then.